Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Julie Durden. It's a beautiful start on this Wednesday. We are seeing most of clear skies out there. Some low-level clouds hanging around the coastal areas of Miami-Dade, but we are expecting to see mostly clear skies this morning. And with that sunshine in place, we are going to warm up. We are expecting highs today to reach the lower 80s, well above average for this time of year. Average high is 76 degrees. Great news is the atmosphere is still very dry in the mid to upper levels, all associated with high pressure, so therefore the radar is dry. We are going to notice more humid conditions, though, by the afternoon as our winds start to shift in from the south and from the southwest. Temperatures this morning comfortable. We've got the lower 60s in Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, 64 in Miami, upper 50s. You might need a light sweater or jacket, make a suki and Pembroke Pine, 66 degrees in Key West. The winds are calm, Fort Lauderdale and Miami and Northeast wind at five miles per hour Key West. We are watching two storm systems. One of them is affecting us. We've got the tail end of a frontal boundary moving into the northern portions of the state. This is going to be the front that pushes towards the southwest and brings us a better chance of an isolated sprinkle later on tonight into tomorrow. Most likely it's just going to increase our cloud cover because the models are showing that this system by the time it moves into central Florida will weaken tremendously. There is an area of low pressure associated with this front bringing some lake effect snow towards the northeast. They saw some snow yesterday. It looks as though they could receive an additional two to four inches. The big talk of the town is what's going on over the Pacific Northwest. We've got a train of area of low pressure systems that's going to continue to ride along the jet stream that has lifted to the north and that's going to continue to produce some heavy snow throughout portions of the Pacific Northwest. In the next 48 hours, they could see an additional four to eight inches of snow, and there's already been eight inches of snow reported in some of the areas. So they are definitely dealing with a winter blast. Temperature 29 degrees in Seattle, one degree in Billings, four degrees in Minneapolis. You can see where that cold Arctic air is settling in, 11 degrees in Kansas City, 12 degrees in Chicago, and we've got more mild temperatures throughout the southeast with 51 degrees in New Orleans, 64 for us here in Miami, and temperatures in the northeast in the 40s. So today we will stay mostly dry, possibility of a spotty shower by tonight as this frontal boundary approaches central Florida. Clouds will continue to build tonight leading into tomorrow, and then that front will clear or possibly even just fall apart. High pressure will rebuild over the weekend as we go into your Saturday and Sunday forecast. We will have a slow warming trend. It will stay sunny. You can plan some outdoor activities and enjoy a very warm weekend ahead. No advisories for your marine forecast. The bay will be at a light shop if you're doing any boating or like to head to the beach. No advisories for you in the Keys. Near shore waters at a light shop. Highs today warmer than yesterday. We're forecasting the 80s will stay dry. Lows will be in the upper 50s inland, lower 60s near the coast. Here's your 7 on 7 forecast. A slight chance of an isolated sprinkle by tomorrow morning and then nice mild conditions for your Friday, Saturday, warming up by Sunday. Have a wonderful Wednesday.